Jennifer, what does the Biden administration want to achieve with this meeting? Well, um, this meeting is really only the second major in-person meeting by a, by a top official um, after the, the meeting that Secretary Blinken and Chinese officials had in Alaska earlier on in the administration. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it is one of the, the, the kind of initial con contacts that they've had. And um, Sh Sherman is, expect is expected to talk about um, you know, wanting a level playing field and guardrails in, in place um, to ensure that the U.S. and China do not end up in conflict, and, and that's sort of the direction uh, that that she will be headed in. There were a lot of issues when it comes to the, the protocol going into this meeting, right? The fact that the Foreign Minister Wang Yi is meeting with Sherman but not holding negotiations with her, was this the compromise that was sort of acceptable for, for both sides? Yeah, you know, it, 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 this is somebody who's at a lower rank than Wendy Sherman is. Uh, but, but it was something that the, the Biden administration kind of reluctantly agreed to in the interest of trying to... Um, initiate these conversations or, or carry on these conversations at, at a higher level um, because there really has not been much um, interaction, as I said, between Secretary of State and, and top Chinese officials, let alone President Biden and President Xi. And that's certainly a direction where um, I think that this administration does want to have some of that engagement, um, it, at, at least on, on issues where there can be some agreement.